episode 3 of Come Down With Wow, and it's the turn of Ollie O'Dell, aka Mark Studd, Duck Stone, Haribo Jellyman, and a whole host of other notorious characters from Backyard Zoo's world of Wiggy. And today he'll be playing a chef as he dons an astronaut suit for a space themed evening at his home, which is also a bungalow. Not that that's his shed. So, to make sea stock, I need cashew bushy and a uh, seaweed together to make sea stock. Well, that doesn't seem complicated. Let's have a look at his menu. Oh, I hope I'm getting paid peace rate to pronounce all of these French words. Now, to sharpen blade. Let's hope he won't be stabbing anyone's back with that thing. You move blade across whetstone in like fashion. Well, on second thoughts, let's hope he does. It's got to be more interesting than this. On top of stove, I take cassio bushy flakes, like so, and put in water. Now, I take for sushi, I take dry seaweed to put in stock, or so. If you can open it. Uh, in sea stock, uh, over hot stove, we leave for 10 minutes. So to prepare vegetable to go in sushi, you need sharp knife and cucumber and tuna tin. Yes, I've been told this may run over the 28 minute limit. Okay, so to speed things up, he cuts the cucumber into shapes, prepares the tuna, takes out the seaweed stock and then sieves it, and then he does that to whatever that is. Rice absorb flavour. So that's what it is. We're well, going to move on, our first guest's arrived. 30 year old Sarah Hatcher was our host in the second episode, and she clocked up an impressive 31 points to top the leaderboard. And the lager's either thoughtful or part of a bigger plan to sabotage the meal. Okay. Nice to see you. Come in. There we go. And following hot on the heels of Sura is Oxford based Jamie. The cheeky, chirpy, trouble making twat has promised not to bully Ollie in his own backyard. Okay, where do I go? Just uh, around the corner. Make a right and then make a right. left. A left. It's written in French, so I'm going to have to put on my best French accent. Okay. <clears throat> she must have a frog in her throat. <clears throat> Try again. Crivet is the avocat, so pangil. So I think that's um, grilled avocado. Now I've never had avocado before, so it'll be very interesting to try what it's like. Um, the main is a uh, salmon uh, asparagus. Asper so that, that must be um, salmon with asparagus. Grills avec a pate filo, so grilled. Pate, something pate with avex with, and dessert pudding or caramel avec une sauce or caramel. Now I'm on a diet, so I'm. Oh, c'est catastrophe. I'm gonna do. I just have to. Uh, I mean, I love, I love it, but. Must do better. D minus. Ah, oh, now here's a man with a reputation. Start a crevette, a vacua, sur pain. Uh, grill. Well, he had a reputation uh, when he walked in. Uh, je suis très fin, uh, parce que um, non uh, dîner uh, aujourd'hui. Uh, pour dîner, salmon et asperges. Asperges. Avec la pâte. 
Philo. Oh, come on, even ah, we oui. say pâté. Eh, non, eh, saumon. Eh, pour moi, eh, je suis un végétarien. Eh, oui. Eh, eh, dessert, pudding et eh, caramel avec une sauce de uh, caramel. Ah, uh, sticky toffee. I fucking love sticky toffee, so that's going to be really good, so I look forward to that. This does look like a, a professional menu, um, and I, yeah, and that's, that sounds great. Well, it didn't sound great to us, that's a C. Oh, go on, you can have a C plus. And next to face the music is Matthew Cockney born and bred, Helen Keller Kelleher, with his own Wham Bam Ayn Rand t-shirt. Let's hope he's not too objective about Ollie's food, or am I missing the point? Hey! Only joking! Hey! <laughs> hey. Oh. 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 Right, let's have a stab at this menu today. Eh? Crevette, a dava cat, sir pan grill. Yeah, I'm happy with that. We'll, we'll give that one a try. Mains, salmon, a asparagus. Grills avec la pâté filo. Well, at least he got yeah, pâté, yeah. right? Can, can deal with that. Yeah, sounds lovely. Dessert, pudding or caramel avec une sauce or caramel. That stumped him. Lovely, yeah. Uh, third menu, um, maybe the taste is a lot. You know, the proof, as they say, is in the tasting of the pudding. So, uh, so yeah, bring it on, I say, let's go. Well, that was so bad, I'm gonna give him an A+. Yeah. And prolonging the first, last up is Hunky Dory, what's the story, Chris. And what is the story? He always looks fed up on the walk-in. Oh, hey, I brought you uh, some uh, Anthony class. This is um, unacceptable. Unacceptable? Basically, this is horrible. The, the starter, I mean, I've not read the rest yet, but avocado is possibly the worst food I've ever experienced, mainly because I understand it's a superfood and all that, but it is when you when you look at it really it's essentially a sweaty pair a sweaty pair of what I, w I won't be i won't be enjoying this and it's with prawns which arguably is um a type of seafood is even worse so i, I probably won't i probably find a way to just not eat the starter salmon and asperges grills dear me asparagus don't look so proud i like salmon Asparagus. I like salmon. Take it or leave it. I don't know what patty filo is. It's like pity for loot. And uh, pudding au caramel avec une sauce au caramel. He made that sound like a sermon. Uh, which I'm, I'm, I'm guessing is, is just sticky toffee pudding, really. Take it or leave it. I'm not even grading that, he's taking the piss. So while Ollie goes through his running order, a guest rudely rummaged through his home. I like the, uh... Oh, it's, it's sam samurai. samurai. Ah, you're doing that again. What's that? The, the voice. Where, where are you from? What part of, uh, what part of <laughs> South Africa are you from again? <laughs> Acne. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where, what street? Acne Street. One. I mean, that's an easy one, you can get another one. <laughs> uh, what, uh, what, what district? district? What district? That's it, yeah, yeah. What district, district is Hackney? I keep forgetting. The London Borough of Hackney. In yeah, Hackney, Hackney Street in London. Uh, what's yeah. your nearest uh, Hackney tube station? <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, uh, no, I, 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 Hackney Street Station. Hackney Street Station. And which school <laughs> did you go to when you were growing up? Presumably, it was one in Hackney. Uh, it was, uh, it, it was, it was, it was, um, Hackney Road Comprehensive. Right. <laughs> Got a uh, free R level. Yeah. In in what? In life. <laughs> Got loads of them. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that French? Really? 
Sorry? Actually, the French say where. Hey, that picture's very French. Like, yeah. The picture's very French as well. Mm. Bit of a clash of uh, cultures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody tell her it's Italian. Encore. Encore. <laughs> um, so, um, I've noticed this thing over here, this Gareth Bale um, postcard. And I was thinking that that's like having a picture of your ex girlfriend, isn't it? Um, in the living room. It's a bit weird. It still hurts. Wow, you have got a hairy back. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that is unbelievable. I've got, um, I've got sunburn, obviously, and all my back came off, all the skin came off, and it was disgusting. That is actually unbelievable. And now think I've about got it. no blemishes, I've got no spots or anything on my back. Just it's hair. Completely new back. Everyone loves a hairy back. Yeah. Um, Let's look at your back. It's no hair. I mean, why would no, there be? There is no hair, is there? Yeah, why, why would there be, though? Because it's not what it's for, is it? I don't know. I don't know. Just like before. Do you like that when you're having sex? You get um, Sean to, to do that. Oh, well, if I have my shirt on, it's not great. Uh, that is actually ridiculous. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> to do that. yeah just even it out, it's fine. It'll probably no, yeah. no lasting damage. Uh, no, is the answer. No. Me and Chris have a, have, have a really good relationship. Um, we haven't progressed to that level. But I'm hoping that, you know, if, he's, if we, I mean, it's, it's we have to meet each other because of these come down well episodes we have to meet each other which is good for me so the more that I can I'm hoping by the end of the fifth episode I'll have um, had my way with it uh, yeah that was fairly awkward but then that is you know um, not that awkward compared to you know the first night when he got his anus out and opened it in front of everyone and had a shout so I would say realistically that wasn't that awkward I was quite pleased that was all that happened <laughs> Oh, we all woke up, eh? Oh, you know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit of a, of a washout, wasn't it, guys? You know, well, yeah. Uh, can, yeah. Can you believe, I actually predicted 7-1 uh, Brazil, Germany, and I won 200 quid. Well that done. wasn't you, that was someone else in the, in the news. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> Damn. So easy to get that. Ostrich managed to get to the quarter-final, which is pretty good. Who is that actually meant to be? Ostrich. Oh, yeah. Bloody football. So this is really deceiving because if you look at it, if you just look to your left very quickly, you would think that that's a window, wouldn't you? But I think you're right. Is this the one where he has AIDS? <laughs> <laughs> um, no. <laughs> Price? 12. 12 what? 12 quid? Because that's as well, they're going uh, down the panel. Yeah, it's a shame. What's your favourite um, band? Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan, yeah. big fan. Yeah. Which is your favourite track? I'm just, not, not any track in particular, but the, but the old acoustic set that he had. Favourite album? Is this, this one actually? It's, um, is it the best? That, that is. That is no, a good no, job. The, no, the bootleg series. You know, some very interesting yeah, interpretations. Yeah, yeah. Some of the, the classics and, the, and a few that um, obvious lesser known ditties as well. So it's, it's fairly well. Yeah. So uh, with a little look, uh, it won't take too long. It's only uh, uh, avocado on toast with prawns on top, resting on the avocado. Sounds good, but we do have one vegetarian and one fussy yeah, eater. Yeah, I, I don't know whether to serve uh, Chris prawns because he says he doesn't like prawns and he says he doesn't like avocado. So I'm serving avocado with prawns on toast, so I might just give him the toast. Don't say you didn't prawn him. So for starters, it's cravat, a double car, sir pan green. Yes, I've been brushing up on my South African. But it's just standard. Um, hey guys. Huh? 
Oh, that looks really oh, good. Oh, I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. That looks really nice. Ladies first, so. Matt, that's, he's saying that you're a lady. What do you think about oh, that? You. you just called you a lady. Okay. Cheers, mate, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit of a laugh. There's prawns on it. You've got a big portion. There's prawns on it. Shit. No. Um, <laughs> there's one without prawns on. One second. Of course there is. Pick them out, we move right. This Thank you. No problem. He says he's putting the last prawn in his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Nice one. There you go. There was a prawn sticking out of Ollie's pocket when he brought it through. So there was certainly were prawns on it at some point. And then Jamie mentioned that he didn't want to eat my asparagus because it had had salmon on it. And then I felt, well, actually, you've just eaten a whole bowl of something that had that's had prawns on it. And now they're in Ollie's pocket. Ollie stunk a fish all throughout the meal, and there's no logical answer to that other than he had prawns down his pants. I think that that was genuine. I think um, he he was too quick when he said, "Oh, I've got one in the kitchen that hasn't got one." He was too quick with with that. Whereas if he'd thought about it, then I would have suspected. But I trust him as well. Mm. Yes, I'm trying. Oh, do you have any mulled wine? Um. <laughs> yeah, Christmas. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> I used to come around and call That's a very specific thing to ask for, isn't it, really? Uh, <laughs> beer, wine, I want some mulled wine, please. Yeah, I've got okay. a spare carrot. That's another random thing. Mm. <laughs> what did, spare, just not part of, didn't come, it was a single carrot, it never came as a spare carrot. Yeah. <laughs> One lying around. Yeah, I think this one's defective, you've got any spare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Defective. It doesn't function as a carrot. <laughs> It's leaking. <laughs> a leaky carrot. That's through regular. <laughs> Look at you eating it with your fucking cutlery. Fucking hell, it's a sign there like that, isn't it? What, being a middle class quiet? Oh, yeah. I don't know about that, do I? No, you do, because you've seen it. No, so why would I? I wouldn't have seen it yet, would I? Because I didn't know what score you gave me. No, but it's, it's... There's enough time in between when it's fair enough for it to watch the episode. I just wish me call me a conk interested company. Now. I didn't call you that now, did I? Hmm? Well, well, we have to edit that out anyway. We can talk about what is bread. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. That's a good question, Jamie. It's alright, sir, I've got this. <laughs> bread. <laughs> it sort of um, comes from grains. They're from plants. Okay. And um, What do grains look like? They're about that big. And then they sort of get ground up into flour. That's right, innit? And then, from that, you add water right. and yeast, and you make bread. Something like that. Okay. Yeah, now, it's shirt goes. Sure. It's like the, the shirt uh, Jason Bourne wears in that film. It's good. Yeah, that's it's why. Good shirt. Mm. I mean, yeah. I think it's that exact same shirt. Yeah, it is. It's the same shirt. <laughs> mm. That looks like the bizarre. Oh, it's not what urban It's probably neither. Can you check? I don't, I don't know. Oh, I know where it is. It's from uh, Sainsbury's. Is it really? Yeah. Brilliant. That's good. I bought it to go on holiday. It was three quid. I'm impressed. Well done. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks, thanks for the compliment. I mean, I was, I was feeling really uh, self-conscious about that, but yeah. now thanks for clarifying. Is that, 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 that Validates my existence. Now, this is um, <coughs> an intermarché in uh, France, mm. and it was um, such a big girls, and I bought it, and it was two euros. Wow, that's good. I know. It's a cool t-shirt. I really liked it. But um, obviously that is for... Mm. Yeah, cleavage. Yeah. Not a hairy chest. Hey, whatever. Mm. Um, well, when I, I trumped him um, with the t-shirt price, that that was incidental. Um, and I think I came off worse with that, really. Because his was from Sainsbury's and mine was from... A French um, supermarket. I wasn't trying to say, oh, you know, it's from Sainsbury's. I meant, I meant this from Sainsbury's. You know what I mean? And and it cost three quid, so I hope not, because it'd be more fool him if he if he was trying to compete with me. Let's have a look at it then. Super. Mm. Saw this after I get that. <laughs> uh, I've got a joke, guys. Oh, shit. What do you call a black plane driver? <laughs> Didn't you tell this one last time? <laughs> yeah, go yeah. on. The pilot, the pilot erases bastard. Mm. 
Yeah. yeah. It's, it's not even a joke, is it? Well, no. No, that's the, that is You're the joke. Right, that, aren't you saying? No. Can't please everyone, can you? No. I, I thought Ollie's joke was funnier this week because he changed it from a pilot to a train driver, so... Um, which is even more funny, imagining that happening with a, a, tra a train driver doing that. I think it's even funnier that you've imagined he'd said train driver. Let's what have a look. What do you call a black plane driver? Well, yeah, um, it was it was Albert Einstein that said the the, the very definition of insanity is to um, to do the same thing twice and expect different results. So, uh, so I don't know why um, Ollie thought telling the same um, inappropriate joke would um, provoke a different reaction among the same friends, but. Um, but but you know um, I'm I'm just hoping that um, he'll uh, he'll learn his lesson fourth time around. Yeah. Sarah took huge offence. No, um, no, but uh, it was a good joke. Uh, what what do you call yeah, play a black uh, man who drives a plane? Uh, a pilot. Oh dear me! You really aren't faking this amnesia, are you? You did say it last week, you know. Did I? Yes. What do you call a black man who uh, who drives a plane? Oh God, he's he's a joke. Yeah, um, what 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 do you get if you cross? Was it? Show? Go, oh, yeah, yeah, never mind, never mind. No, 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 sorry, sorry. Go, let's hear him. Yeah, Go on. What do you get if you cross a joke with a rhetorical question? Ah, uh, I don't know. Go on. Ah, oh. maybe yeah, that's the answer because obviously that's not that's not the end, is it? Yeah. Wait for the penny to drop and then you laugh. No, no, it won't drop. What's the what's the punchline? What's the punchline? There's got to be a punchline otherwise. Is it Gordon Burns? <laughs> yeah. It's Gordon Burns. That, now that is good. Yeah, is it? That's a good joke, that one. I like that. Let's think about that one as well. Well done. Thank you. <coughs> you eaten before you came again. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. Thank God I ate before I came. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't, to be honest. Um, I, haven't. I did have a whole bag of chocolate buttons. Why are they well, boring? Well, like a... They're not. They're, they're like, really God. boring. Mm. Not yeah, the they are. They are. Caramel in them. Yeah. Yeah. They're even more boring. How, how could they be more boring? There's more yeah, ingredients. So, how can you say that buttons with caramel in them are more boring because than just buttons? You know what that tastes like, the FD edition. But surely it's but more with, exciting no, because there's more ingredients. No, well, how can it but look? with one chocolate, you know, each one does so. So, alright. So, so toast. Toast is more, but less boring than what? Yeah, less boring than cheese on toast. Is that what you're saying? So cheese on toast is more boring if anything. Um, more ingredients on it, maybe. No, it, make it. It, toast can be brilliant. The button argument, uh, I know I thought I made a really good point. He just wasn't listening, uh, which is typical of Chris, D doesn't listen to what you're saying. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. like saying, oh, okay, what's more, what's more boring? Um, a drink of water or. A drink of water and cordial. Uh, no. Yeah. Or. Jamie, manners. Charles Bukowski. <laughs> no, it isn't. It is. It, it, no way. Is no, that because the same? You, you could sort of manoeuvre water into Charles Bukowski. Into well, it's seventy percent. No, I yeah. think I think he's got a good point here. Thank God. I like to hear more gondry. <laughs> no, that's the yeah. That's it. It had no logical sense. It was. It was just. It was nonsense. And I think if anyone would have won the argument, it would have been me. But I didn't want to see it through because it was a waste of everyone's time. Buttons <laughs> have clearly got more not, boringness I'm, if you were going to I'm say I'm not it. looking at it in, in that way, I'm looking at it in a different way that's better than all of you. Any rational way. <laughs> I mean everything's the same. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's ridiculous isn't it? Realize. My point was, um, you know, I was at a higher level than he was. He was operating down there with the taxi fraternity. I was up here in the, with the limos. Well, they all seem to like the starter. Um, I don't give a shit if they don't, because I don't like any of them. Apart from Sarah, she's alright. Um, but they all finished off the plates, even though, even Chris, who doesn't like avocado or prawns. So, they're probably in his pocket. Hi, how are you guys? Alright, mate. Who are you? I'm the waiter for the evening. <laughs> Thank you. That's really nice. Jamie, you've so done yet because you're here. Vegetarian, you've, you've ruined everything. So I've got, I've got time for a cigarette. <laughs> oh yeah, has Jamie got time for a cigarette? Has Jamie got time for a cigarette? He must be busy. This is Dexter. Hello Dex, come. 
<laughs> well, it might be called Daxter, but it's hardly pulling in the viewers, is it? It's a pity Ollie doesn't do Facebook, because that sort of garbage passes for entertainment on it. Let's hope he redeems himself with the main course. A salmon, a aspers, grill, avec le pâté filo. What do Matt and Chris think? Yeah. Strange folk. I think not like I don't, I don't, I don't know who the reasons. How is the salt? Is it kept? Jesus Christ, I don't know. Usually the uncle, yeah. Oh, God. When you mention my uncle, then I dropped, uh, dropped my food. <laughs> <laughs> so Just have you got me. No. Diving his baby. Oh, my God. Don't mention it. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, but this isn't in the table conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can we raise the, uh, raise the level of conversation now? It's time not to bring up, you know, death. You all right, then? Yeah, the bit with the uncle is a bit, um... Sick. Uh... Amusing. Libelous. Yeah. I'll take a rousing at this point. Anything. Do you, um, save the best until last? Yeah, that read that is what chefs do not understand. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's what I've said for a long time. Is that the best bit about a meal is the last bit, and that's why you always, from a child, you always send the last, um, mouthful. It's the best bit. I'm sure they do. No, they don't. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? There hasn't been a dish design like that. There's some dishes that, one here, that allow they? you to choose what you eat. Yeah. Well, they mean the best bit. Every dish has got like. You ever watch Master Chef? No. <laughs> it is shit. The, the, the salmon was, uh, was spot on and uh, did enjoy the little um, feeler, which was, uh, which, was, which was new to me. You know, uh, like to, to try new things and uh, I'm glad I did, I really enjoyed it as well. The main meal was fantastic, it was absolutely fantastic, it was like something that you get in a real restaurant. You'd probably pay, you know, you wouldn't mind paying £100 for that, um, or um, 20 It was alright, yeah, and the watery stuff tasted a bit weird, but... Uh... I didn't like the asparagus or asperges as it said on the uh, on the menu, but it was uh, it was adequate. Main course over, and the guests have fled the bungalow for a treat down the garden path with some live music. Okay, so I'm just gonna play a few songs. Going into the shed, I thought this is really cosy. Like we're sitting in a shed, and he's got his own little um, arousing little hidey hole, and I, I just thought it was. It was dead sweet. The performance itself, I thought, was really good. So, um, it was a really good performance. Well, I'm glad that's clear. <laughs> Yeah, the entertainment was great, you know, real sort of live music feel, you know, just um, just sort of uh, homegrown, nothing fancy, but but you know, uh, everyone was everyone singing along, everyone tapping their foot, you know, it was great. Um, you know, uh, if only every uh, dinner party could be like that. The performance was better than what I could have done. Um, I actually felt embarrassed because I like sang this really shitty song, and, and they did like everything sort of with the drums involved as well, and it, it just felt like it put mine to shame a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, it was 
good. It, was, it wasn't enough seats. I mean, I sat, I sat on Jamie's lap, which was weird. Um, not, the, not the best way to, to, um, you know, to, to watch a band play, but it was, it was good. Uh, Ollie in the space outfit was just brilliant. I mean, actually, um, that made it for me. The entertainment was fantastic. <laughs> He looks beautiful as well, I and mean, it was just nice to to see a beautiful man. And Ollie, who looked brilliant in his in his in his get up. <laughs> it was a surprise as well. Even though that I know that Ollie is good, he's a good musician. I was surprised that I actually enjoyed it as much as I did. Back into the living room, using the same camera shot, Ollie serves his dessert, which is pudding or caramel. Are they good? It's a great British sticky toffee pudding. To Asta. Do you want me to pour it on, Jamie? Yes, please. Honestly, um, this stuff is amazing. Really? What, what is it? It's um, sticky toffee. Cheers. I just wish that I could have had some, but I'm on a diet. So I was watching everyone else eat it. My result what? is really being tested. Why is there a W in coffee? Mm -hmm. You're looking at it, right? Yeah. Um, just have to uh, fix. mentally eat it. Right, you expect it to move. Fix for the quaff. <laughs> I've I, I really loved sticky toffee pudding. Oh, and gosh, I really I love want that to one. eat oh, it. But you know, the, uh, we were talking about it. Um, Kyle's brother on sale. Um, can any of you actually hear me? Oh, uh, I love that air conditioning plate. Put Mary Hill with my ears, man. <laughs> Mary Hill. Hell. Mary Hell. <laughs> Pretty fucking good, this all. Yeah. That's pretty silly. Yeah. Yeah. It's on the Forbes 100 list. That's good, Dad. Yeah. That was, I was actually surprised by that. That was good. <laughs> Yeah, it's another example of a joke that's not funny, but um, is kind of clever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just sort of yeah. taking a spray from me there. Like, yeah, no. Ouch! No, that's yeah. funny. Yeah, it was nice the sticky toffee pudding. Um, very rich. Um, in fact, I thought of a joke during that, and I didn't say it. I didn't say it, but it was the it was richer than uh, could have been on the top one hundred in that in the Forbes list. It was good. I didn't say it, and then Matt Matt just stole it, which I thought was. I told him that when no one was listening, and then he told it anyway, which is fine. You can have it. Bit of a sticky toffee pudding uh, went down the tweet with everyone, I think. So uh, so, so so yeah, that's uh, that's a, a, another thumbs up from me. I did enjoy it. And it was it was great. I just wish that I could have had some, but I'm on a diet, so I was watching everyone else eat it. You're not on a diet, are you? You should have said. Sticky toffee pudding was, I'd say that was probably the best sticky toffee pudding I've ever had. The sauce, it was rich, but, you know, I like rich food, uh, and it was just great, so, oh, ten prisons out of ten prisons. Ten what out of ten what? I'd give myself uh, at least a five out of ten. Modest till the end, but what did his guests think? To be honest, in a weird way, I didn't enjoy the food, but he tried a lot, so he, he did try different things, and even though avocados disgust like awful, and prawns are horrible, he did really try, and he was he really pushed the boat out, and 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 he was dressed as as a spaceman, so for that I'm going to give him uh, an eight. For this evening, I enjoyed. Um, I shall give it an eight. Out of ten. I'm going to reward my highest score to date, which is uh, eight point 
five. Is he allowed to do that? So, um, I think I've got a tough act to follow. I think I can do it. But um, the proof, as I always say, is in the tasting of pudding. I think there's going to be a Stuart's inquiry. Okay, so I'm going to give Ollie a big uh, fat two because it was shit. Well, it seems harsh, but that's his prerogative. And that too means Ollie's valiant efforts are in vain as he slumps to third place with a score of 26.5. But wait, a Stuart's inquiry has been held. But it's not because of Matt's half a point. It turns out that Jamie's big fat two was a big fat joke. So I'm going to give Oliver a nine out of ten uh, because no one can get a ten because nothing's perfect. But Ollie was very close to being perfect. So thank you. Well, that changes everything. That late entry at nine catapults Ollie to the top of the leaderboard for mesmeric 33.5. What do you think about that, Ollie? Alright, I'll try that again. You can edit that. Break dancing to Willie and Tell. Bring us strong. The faces come out of the rain. When you strong. No one remembers your name. When you're strange, when you're strange, when you're strange. Yo! You okay? Well, I'm fine, yeah. I just put Z instead of X's.